Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In case you're new here, my name is Lauren and I'm the Canvas Queen. Where on this channel, we like to talk all things Canvas LMS and education. Today I'm continuing my series on incorporating Google into Canvas. So that way, maybe if you were a Google Classroom teacher before, you can reuse everything you've created and just place it into Canvas for easy, simple use. <laughs> now, before we get into the nitty gritty of all of the wonderful details of this video, I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe to my channel, leave a like and a comment, of course, if you have any questions. When you guys engage with my content, it's great because then it just helps me reach a larger audience so that I can help more teachers with Canvas LMS. Also, speaking of help, I've also started a newsletter where I send out weekly tips and tricks on how you can use Canvas LMS in your classroom. If you would like to sign up for that, I'll leave it in the description below. Let's get started on Google into Canvas. So I'm gonna show you the easiest way to create a Google assignment within Canvas. You don't have to download any app. You don't have to really honestly do anything except for create directions in Canvas. And then everything else is just using links with Google. So let's see it. All right. So here is my demo assignment in this demo class that I've made. We're going to click on the assignment and you'll see I have filled in this page with directions. And I also have this really nice big button that says assignment access. And you'll see I can't currently click on this button. It doesn't do anything right now. It's just an image. So what I'm going to do to turn this into an assignment that is usable and gives students access to a document of some kind. I'm gonna go to my Google Drive or really, I'm just quickly accessing this Google slide that I've created and we want students to have access to edit this. All I'm gonna do is come up here to the link and we're going to alter this. So where it says edit, I'm going to change that. I'm going to get rid of it and I'm just going to write copy. And then I am going to copy it, control C. And then before we take this link to Canvas, we just want to make sure that it is shared. Anyone with the link can view. So we're good there. We're going to go back to the assignment, click edit. We're going to go into this rich content editor here and scroll past all the directions and go to this assignment access button. I'm going to click on this image, go up to the link icon, which looks like this chain. So I've selected the image, going to the links. We're going to do an external link and paste the Google document link into canvas here and we're just going to double check i have copy written and then we're going to click done so now this has become a button or a hyperlinked image that will take students to the document but it will create a forced copy so i'm going to scroll down we're going to click save and now watch what happens when I select this button. It's going to be awesome. Click it and it has created a forced copy. So I am going to now make my own copy of this. And now you'll see copy of the activity. So students can write in this. I can go here where the text is and I can write my own entry. Right? So, so cool. And then once students are done, I'm going to show you how they submit it. Now I am a student. So I'm going to actually go back to demo assignments. I'm going to click student view and we're going to access this as a student. Start assignment. I can scroll down and go to the Google Drive. Now, because I'm in student view, it's not going to, it's going to give me this error, but 
essentially what would happen is students would just take it from their Google Drive right there and find it. So they would sync up their drive via Canvas. But there's also this file upload option. So all a student would have to do when they're done is, let's just say this document is finished, they go over to file, download as a PDF document. I think PDF document is the best just because then the viewing of it is better, but you could do a Microsoft PowerPoint if you wanted to, or images, but I'm going to do PDF document. And so that just downloaded onto my computer and I go back here, we're going to click upload file. Now I can either do choose file, which will bring up all of my files, but the easiest way is honestly just go to your recent downloads, click and drag, and now it's attached, and then submit assignment. And then of course, once it loads, we get confetti. <laughs> Students can access their submission over here. They get a little, it is submitted notification, and then that's it, they're done. So I'm no longer in student mode. I'm just going to now go to the speed grader just so I can show you what it looks like. We have our test student here and you can see that it is submitted and I do have my edit down here. So I know that this is not just a copy of the original, there is student work added. And then I can of course either use the rubric that I did attach to provide a grade or I can just write in the grade myself depending on what I would like to do as a teacher. And that's it. That is the quickest way to use previous Google documents that you already have and place them into Canvas. Just copying and altering a link and placing it into Canvas for your students to access. Yay, we're done. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. Again, if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel, I would greatly appreciate it. Also, if you have a question, leave a comment below, or you can also uh, reach out to me on any of my social media platforms as well. I'm really good about responding to you guys. I really hope that this video was helpful for you, especially if you're a Google using educator and just trying to reuse some of the content you already have to make your life simpler if Canvas is your learning management system. In the next video, I'm going to be showing you how to incorporate Google Cloud assignments, which is just another way to reuse Google in a different kind of format without links. So that way they're actually visible in Canvas. So if you would like to see how that's done, I'll be posting that sometime next week. And once it's posted, I'll have it linked below. So if you're from the future, you could probably just find the link below in the description. All right, everyone, I will see you on the next video. Bye.